Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to your third lesson on inference to do with our Varjak Poor book. So today, we are, our learning objective is to use inference to answer questions. And by the end of this lesson, you should be able to locate the correct part of the story using key vocabulary, give evidence using the words from the story, as we're getting quite good at now, and check that your answers have made sense. Right, so for our starter, Ali shook the water from her umbrella and carefully balanced her soaking coat on the radiator. What does this sentence tell us about the weather that day? Where is your evidence? Okay, so pause now to write down your answer. Right, did you get it right? So, did you realise that it must be raining because, here are two pieces of evidence, she shook water from her umbrella and two, her coat was soaking, hence why she had to put it on the radiator. You may have also told me that you think it must have been cold because she was wearing a coat, because perhaps if it was a hot and sunny day, you might not have worn a coat or she might not have worn a coat but I was really looking for rain. But if you put cold, then that's also good inference. Cold and rainy would be the best. Okay, so we are gonna to have to use our story again to answer some questions. So I'm just scrolling down so that you have this on your screen again. So I'm slowly going down this page, hopefully, you know this chapter two very well by now. Perhaps you can tell me your favorite part of the book so far. I'd love to hear that. Okay, so our lesson today is all about questions, answering questions using evidence. Okay, so our infant skill using evidence. I've put the questions in the order of the text, so that should help you. But if you require some further support, I will scroll forward to the next slide, which tells you exactly where the answers come on which page in the text, okay? I'm gonna read the questions out now, and then I'll do the scrolling through to show you where they come. Right, so one, what evidence is there that Varjak was worried about these cats? Question two, what evidence is there that father is now pleased with Varjak? Question three, what evidence is there that Varjak feels unhappy in his family? I bet you know what the sentence is gonna start with now. What evidence is there that father doesn't want to hear the tales? Now this is, question has two parts. So 5A, what evidence is there that the Contessa is not in her room? 5B, do you think she is in the building at all? Can you be sure? So I want your own answers there. Question six, what evidence is there that Varjak, Varjak loved the toy mouse? Question seven, what evidence is there that caviar, and it's spelt caviar with an E in the book, is an unusual or special food? And finally, question eight, what evidence is there that father does not want a family council? Okay, so if you don't want help with, what, with where the answers are, use this page to answer the questions. If you do want some support, keep watching. And I've just got a little picture of caviar there if you didn't know what it was. Okay, so this page is exactly the same. It's all the same questions, but it just tells you where to find the answers, okay? So just have a look at that. Okay. Right. So have a pause. Have a read through. Take your time to find the answers. Remember to underline some key words. So let's just do this top one together. What evidence is there that Varjak was worried about these cats? So I've said it's on page one, top half. So I'm going to scroll back to page one. So what evidence is there? So I'm going to read through and think, how do I know that he was worried? Ah, hang on. 
Now, it may not say worried because remember we're inferring, but it will have words that mean worried, that give us a similar reason, a similar meaning. So I think fear, okay? So fear and confusion scorch through Rajak's veins as he turned the corner. He raced the kitchen fast as he could go, faster still. So I think that would be my answer that shows me that he's worried. So I would put fear and confusion scorched through Farjack's veins, or I would say my own words, he felt that he was confused and fearful. But I think the best way is to copy the answer from the text because that is what we're always telling you. So fear and confusion scorched through Farjack's veins. And then you might also add as an extra bit of evidence, he raced the kitchen fast as he could go. Because that also could show us, that's not as clear, but that could show us that he's worried. Okay, could also show him being excited, but I think because of the gist of this, it would also back up the fact that we think he is worried. Okay, right. I know I gave a long answer there, but it was actually more simple than you think, just copying down the answer. I'm gonna do one more and not talk quite so much. Right, what evidence is there that father is now pleased with Varjak? So let's answer on the bottom of page one. So I'm scrolling down. Let's look for something. Oh, there's a good word there. I think that sounds like it might be it. So it says, so you're ready to behave like a proper blue, said father. Very good. Okay, so that shows us that he is happy with Varjak. So I would copy all of that sentence out. Okay, well done. So just pause now and go through all the rest of the answers. All the rest of the questions, I should say. And give me your answers. Okay, so well done. Let's look for the answers. Now I did the top two with you. So I just put fear and confusion scorched through Varjak's veins. He also raced as fast as he could go. And I put number two, so you're ready to behave like a proper blue, said father, very good. Remember our inverted commas here to show speech. We should be getting good at those because of our English lessons. Right, number three. So what evidence is there that Varjak feels unhappy? So I put no one believed a word he said, it wasn't fair. In the middle of his family, he felt friendless and alone. I think this last sentence is the most important. So in the middle of his family, he felt friendless and alone. What evidence is there that father doesn't want to hear the tales? Enough, yelled father. That's enough of these, these tales. He spat out the word tales with particular disgust. Just add my full stop on there, just check in my work. What evidence is there that the Contessa is not in her room? Well, the Contessa's door was wide open. There was no one in her room. Okay, so it's quite specific there. It was empty. Do you think she's in the building at all? And can you be sure? I think if we read through chapter two again, there's no actual evidence to prove she's in the building, but we can take clues and assume that she may not be there, but we don't know. She could be in another room. Perhaps we will find out if we keep on reading. What evidence is there that Varjak loved the toy mouse? So Varjak sniffed the mouse, it even smelt real. And this is the bit that really tells us he loved it. A tingle of wonder ran through him. He'd always wanted to hunt a mouse. And even this bit, an extra piece of information, he wondered if he'd get it back. So that implies, so remember we're inferring, that he would quite like it back. So he must like it. But I think the best part of the answer is this bit. A tingle of wonder ran through him. He always wanted to hunt a mouse. What evidence is there that caviar is an unusual or special food? That's caviar, whispered mother, the rarest, most expensive food in the world. So there's your evidence. Treats like this are only given to the finest pedigree cats. And there's some more evidence said by father. I've heard by father. Number eight, what evidence is there that father does not want a family council? But elder poor, protested father eyeing the bowls of caviar. So that means he really wants to eat them. He doesn't want to stop to have a family council. Family council is only for emergencies. 
Okay, so he's really saying, look, this is not an emergency. I really want to eat these bowls of caviar. Please do not call a meeting. And then it says, father's face was twisted with speechless rage. It's really showing that he's quite angry there and definitely does not want a meeting. Okay, well done for working so hard on those questions. If you want one extra challenge, because you really feel like doing some extra work today, then you can make up your own questions where evidence is needed. Well done, and we will see you tomorrow with some different uh, comprehensions that are not based on Vajrak Poor, but will really consolidate these skills that we are learning. Okay, take care, bye.